YouTube family, Soul Sanctuary family, hello and welcome to another practice. So today's practice is all about earthing and grounding down, celebrating Earth Day, but more than that, just celebrating our own ways of connecting to Earth, connecting to Mother Nature, and just checking in with maybe how we can honor the planet, ourselves, our own wellness journey even more. So as always, I'll be giving you modifications, variations as we flow. It's gonna be a stretchy, full body thing, energizing, but grounding all the same. Don't get confused with grounding, meaning necessarily boring. It's gonna be quite fluid. So we'll be having a little bit of fun as we flow. Those of you that aren't already Soul Sanctuary members, please do come and join me. The Soul Sanctuary is an app. It's a desktop uh, platform as well. It's got over 600 practices. So if you like practicing with me here on YouTube, but you only get one every month or so, come over to the Soul Sanctuary. There's an archive of 600 practices, plus you get six new practices every single month or six new videos, some are practices, some are meditations, some are sound, some are guest teachers, um, movement breakdowns, all that stuff. And we also have lives as well, all for $14.99 a month. It's a bit of a no brainer. Um, so yeah, I'll leave the link below in the description box. I really hope that you come and join me. So we are going to get started down in a wide leg child's pose. So like I say, knees wide, sitting back on the heels and just start to walk the hands forwards, closing down the eyes as you arrive here in this space. Taking a little moment to connect to the breath, that gentle rise and fall of the chest and of the belly. And here as we begin the practice, we just take a moment to observe. So we check in, how am I feeling today? Maybe taking a little scan of the body here. So that physical layer, checking in from the tips of the toes, the tips of the fingers, and just working your way around the body through the mind's eye, just asking yourself, how am I feeling? What's alive for me? Not placing any control or judgment on the breath, just allowing the breath to float around the body in its natural rhythm. Just dancing through your energy channels as you softly melt down into the earth. Fingertips are spread. Each pad of the finger, maybe just pressing it one at a time down into your mat. Again, just this feeling of rooting, this feeling of grounding down into beautiful mother nature, our beautiful earth. And just finishing that scan of the body here. And maybe just going one layer deeper into the emotional body, asking yourself, how do I feel? Maybe you've woken up feeling full of joy and freshness, feeling revived. Maybe today you're feeling a little slow, a little foggy, a little sluggish. Again, just no judgment and allowing yourself just to root into whatever's there for you. It doesn't have to define your practice, doesn't have to define your day, just knowing that all of these feelings and thoughts, they pass by. We are ever changing, ever evolving. You're gonna walk your hands over to the right side, opening into the left side body, breathing here. Just creating space into that left side. Maybe you wanna take a releasing breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And then walking those hands back through center, taking them over to the other side. So now we open through the right side body, eyes stay closed. And again, the option for a nice big releasing breath, inhale. And let it go. Coming back through center. 
And then you're just going to start to peel yourself up into an all fours position. We're just going to work our way around in some little cat cows. So inhaling, lifting the chest as you shine the heart forwards. Exhale as you round the spine. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale as you round. Now just the invitation to take it wherever you want it to go so you can work your way around in these circles, really pushing the whole body down and around out to the side, spine up to the sky. If you're taking circles, making sure you go in both directions. If you wanted to stay with that simple cat cow, then stay there. Keep it, keep the movement small. And this whole time, just having this intention for our practice today to ground, to feel into the connection to earth. Life can get a little hectic. Life can get pretty crazy, pretty busy. And we always just want to come back to these moments of earthing down. You're going to walk the hands forwards now coming down into well towards an extended puppy so melting heart and hatasana but instead of going all the way down you are going to move your right hand next to the right side of the body you're going to take your left hand across to the right side of the mat but the left thumb is facing upwards then you lower the chest down and we see we're going to get this stretch all the way through the left tricep down through the whole left side of the body and then we're going to take little mini cat cows here so if you're a little bit confused you can just look to the screen now we take an inhale lift the chest and then exhale release down inhale lift exhale again see if you can find that round Inhale, lift the head, lift the chest. Exhale, round. And then release, wiggle it round to the other side. So the right arm comes across through the body, right thumb is facing upwards. So we're resting on the outside of that right arm. Left hand comes down to support you. Again, we inhale, lift the chest here. Exhale, can you round the spine and really feel that stretch through the right underarm. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Last time, inhale, lift. Exhaling, round. Beautiful. Unraveling yourself, taking both hands up to the top of the mat. Tuck onto the toes and fly the bottom all the way up to the sky for a downward facing dog. And just having a moment to check in with this place, maybe it's really familiar for you. So you can just take pedaling through the feet, shake nod of the head. Maybe there's some other extra movements that you like to do when you're in your downward facing dog. If at any point downward facing dog feels a little too much for you, you're just going to come down to the knees and have a moment in a child's pose. It's just going to be a nice place to feel rested and restored. So from downward facing dog, we're going to sweep the right leg up to the sky, bend the top knee. So we've got that open hip. Now we're going to take three circles going each direction through that right leg. I know the shoulders in the downward facing dog are feeling pretty spicy already. Three going the other way. And then we're going to step that right foot all the way through between the hands, drop the back knee down. Now a little one breath, one action flow here. So we inhale, reach the right arm forwards up and around as we bring the left foot in. If the left foot can't come in, doesn't matter too much. And then we exhale, release it all down, tuck under back toes as we shift back to a high Ardha Hanumanasana. So that's this here. So the right leg wants to be somewhere towards being straight. The left leg is bent as we're shifting the hips back. Hands are supporting you down on the ground, okay? So we're going to take it, inhale, exhale. So we come down, inhale. And then exhale. Nice long breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. 
From here, take an inhale. As you then place the front foot down, come all the way up to standing, finding warrior two. So warrior two, you wanna be deepening into this right leg, grounding through the back left foot. The back left foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Reach the arms out long, roll the shoulders back. These right glutes, they are engaged, <laughs> holding here. Fingertips reaching long. Take an inhale as you straighten the right leg, reach forwards, 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 and then find Trikonasana. Now you can rest your right hand on either a block or you can rest your right hand on your front leg. If you're feeling super strong, you can obviously balance that right arm all the way off. Take an inhale. And then exhale, bring it all the way back to warrior two. Now inhale, flip that back heel up, come to a high lunge. So back leg is straight, front leg, right leg is nice and bent, deep into this high lunge. Now we're gonna twist here, left arm forwards, right arm back. Again, reaching, fingertips really far. One more breath. And then we inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, place the hands down. Option to vinyasa here. So stepping back to plank, working your way through chaturanga or the knees, or you can just take it straight back to a downward facing dog. Remember any vinyasa, you can modify it as much as you wish to. Taking it all the way back. Everybody meeting in a downward facing dog. Well done. Take a releasing breath here, inhale. And let it go. Ah. Let's sweep the right leg up to the sky. Open the hips. Be mindful that that right shoulder doesn't collapse. You want to stay really strong in the shoulders. Just opening through the right hip. Left hip, sorry, I lied. You're going to take three circles going in each direction with that left knee bent. As big as you can make those circles. And then we step left foot through between the hands, drop the back knee down. So we've got that same one breath, one action again between the low lunge and then the high Ardha Hanumanasana. So just re re blah, remind yourself, <laughs> remind yourself what that looked like. And we go here, inhale, back knee comes up if you want it to, exhale, bending that right knee, straightening the left. Inhale, drop the knee down, foot can come up. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring it all the way back. You're going to lift yourself up, opening out, finding that warrior two. Reach the arms along. So it's the right foot now that's grounding at the back of the mat. We're externally rotating through the left hip, dropping ourselves down into that warrior two. Holding here, nice and strong. Feel that connection to the breath. Then from here, we take an inhale, straighten left leg, reach forwards, forwards, forwards. Trikonasana, you can just hover that left hand onto the shin. You don't want to just collapse onto the shin. Okay, you want to be using the obliques to keep you lifted. And then bring yourself all the way around. Flipping up on that back heel, we come to the high lunge. Reaching the arms all the way up to the sky. Getting low into that left side. And then it's the right arm that goes forwards, the left arm goes back now, finding the twist. Again, we reach the fingertips long. So we literally feel like we're being pulled apart <laughs> in a really good way, obviously. One more breath. Take an inhale, reach the arms high up to the sky. Exhale, place the hands down, either straight back to downward facing dog or child's pose, or you come down through your vinyasa and then travel back to your downward facing dog 
or child's pose. Let's take a releasing breath here. Inhale. And let it go. Ah. One more like that. Breathing in. And ah. We're going to take an inhale. Sweep that right leg up to the sky again. Exhale. Step the right foot through all the way between the hands. Drop the back knee down. Now, rather than this time we move from the breath, this time we hold for a few breaths to get the stretch. So reaching that right hand around, maybe lifting up the back foot and drawing the foot towards the bottom. And you can gaze up towards the sky here. We're going to be here for three nice long breaths. That back foot can obviously be down as well. You do not have to bring it up. And then slowly unraveling. This time, rather than going to a high Ardha Hanumanasana, we're going to fold into our traditional Ardha Hanumanasana. So keeping that back knee down, right foot flexes. We take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Now, if you want to undulate with the breath here, inhaling as you lengthen, exhaling as you fold, you absolutely can do. If you just want to hold down here, reaching the crown of the head forwards. One more breath. And then we lift the chest. Now we travel it all the way back up to the warrior two. So inhale as you lift the back knee, open out the arms, open the hips, right side warrior two. Again, we just hold here. And then inhale, straighten the right leg. Again, reaching forwards, Trikonasana. So really opening through the left side of the body, through this tri trikonasana. Inhale, exhale, gaze down, and then inhale, bring yourself all the way up to the high lunge. We take that twist again, but we add on. So right arm goes back, left arm goes forwards, but this time you can take a, revo a revolved, reversed warrior. <laughs> <laughs> right hand floats down to the back leg. If you can find it, left arm reaches up to the sky. Your options are where you look, either down to the floor behind you or up to the sky. You can play around with both, embracing all of the many wobbles, all of the falling. Take one more inhale here. And then unravel as you exhale. This time you're going to push forwards, finding a standing split. Your left leg does not need to go super high. Just lifting that left leg up, squeezing the glutes, head dropping down. You can give the head a little shake. And then again, stepping it all the way back, finding your plank position, either drop down to the knees, take a child's pose, work through your vinyasa or wave the body straight back to your downward facing dog. You're going to inhale from here, sweep the left leg up, step left foot through between the hands, drop the back knee down. Remember, we now hold these for a little bit longer. Inhale, left arm reaches up and over, back foot comes in if you wish it to, taking hold of that foot, gazing up to the sky. Breathing into the hip space. Can you allow yourself just a moment to surrender here? Front foot, grounding, earthing, right hand, earthing as we breathe life, life into the hip space. And then we release that back foot down. Left hand comes down, shift the hips back, Ardha Hanumanasana. Again, the option to undulate with the breath here, inhaling as you lengthen, exhaling as you fold, or you can just hold down into a forward fold. That left foot is flexed. You're drawing the hip into the body. You do not need to be deep in a fold here. You can, be, you can have the chest pretty high up if that feels better for you. Just finding what feels good.
one more breath and then we inhale forwards lift all the way up open ourselves out left side warrior two opening that left hip holding here two more breaths and then we take an inhale lengthen left foot as you reach forwards with the left hand right arm reaches up to the sky the obliques working hard to keep you nice and stable grounding into that back foot can you switch on the right quad and then bringing it all the way around finding a high lunge on that left side and we travel towards our revolved reverse warrior. So right arm forwards, left arm back. Find your balance here first. And then maybe if it feels good, you float that left hand down and you reach the right arm up. Inhale. And then exhale, unravel. Push yourself forwards for a left side standing split. So the right leg reaching up towards the sky. You can grab the left ankle with the left hand, if you wish. Right side glutes squeezed. And then let's step it all the way back. Again, the option of a little vinyasa, a downward facing dog or a child's pose. So going to wherever you would like to go to. And then we're going to bring it down to the ground. Yay. So wherever you are, it doesn't matter if even if you're in a child's pose, you can just come up to all fours. We're going to bring ourselves into a left side pigeon. Now, obviously with your pigeon, you can bring your left foot does not need to look like mine at this 90 degree angle. You can bring the foot into the body, which is going to create a little bit more space. And from here, we're going to take a nice big inhale and lengthen. Exhale and fold. Close down the eyes. Just feeling that rise and fall with the breath. Folding into yourself. So maybe just having another moment to check in, ask yourself, how do I feel? What's alive for me here? Both physically, emotionally, energetically. Two more breaths. And then you're going to lift the chest all the way up. Now you can bring yourself through a vinyasa if you would like to. You can place your hands down, step it back to plank, flow through your chaturanga, all of that good stuff. Or like me, you just step that right knee forwards and find Pigeon on the right side, again, just shifting where this right leg needs to go, finding the place that's going to work best for you. Taking an inhale as you lengthen through the chest, exhale as you fold it forwards. Closing down the eyes again and just breathing here. Two more big deep breaths here. And then we lift the chest all the way up again. You still have the option to take a little vinyasa. If like me, you just want to swing that left leg around so that you are sat down on your bottom, then absolutely do. Grounding the feet into earth, you're going to reach the arms forwards. 
super slowly start to travel yourself down onto the mat and trying to match my pace, smiling the whole time. <laughs> Take an inhale as you lift an inch, lower an inch, lower another one and another one, holding here, smiling and release all the way down to earth and just shift those knees side to side. You're gonna reach the arms out into cactus or T-shape, depending on what you have space for. You're gonna take the hips all the way over to the right, drop the knees over to the left, and take the head over to the right. Now, if you wanna take any little extra hooks with the feet to intensify and deepen the spinal twist, then you absolutely can. When you get there, when you figure out that sweet spot for you, just closing down the eyes and finding once again that connection to the breath. Every time we breathe, we create space. And then every time we exhale, we move a little deeper into the space that we've created. Slowly unraveling, bringing yourself back through center. And slowly and gently, you'll take it over to the other side. So the knees drop to the right, the head drops over to the left. And again, any little leg variation. So you can either hook the top leg over the bottom leg, or you can take the bottom ankle over the top knee. Pretty much does the same thing. Just you'll find one variation a little bit more comfortable than the other. Everyone's different here. Closing the eyes if they're not already closed. Just allowing yourself these final few minutes to really take that gaze inwards. And to connect and to honor both yourself and the earth. And then gently unraveling, drawing the knees into the chest and having a little rock side to side. And then from here, bringing the soles of the feet together, allow the knees to drop open. If this doesn't feel so great, if this is a little bit uncomfortable for you, then you can just take the, le the legs down straight in a normal Shavasana. If you wanna come into this Supta Baddha Konasana, just as a way of breathing a little bit more energy into the hip space, then we're just gonna spend a few moments here to breathe here together. So we'll be inhaling for four and exhaling for eight and you can bring your hands to the belly, you can have a hand to the chest, one to the belly, or you can just keep your hands down by your side. And we take those inhales and exhales through the nose if you can. So we inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let the breath just come back to its natural rhythm. Maybe finding a releasing breath. Ah. 
just spending final few moments just here basking in the energy the grounding energy that you brought into this practice today and then you're going to slowly very very slowly start to bring yourself up to seated you can bring a little bit of wiggling into the fingers and toes you can roll yourself over to one side no need to rush just gently taking yourself all the way up to seated again just keeping the eyes closed for a moment longer placing one hand on top of the other over the heart space And just finally, as we sit and we ground down to earth, we take this time to honor mother nature and everything that she brings to us, the things that we so often take for granted. Just being able to wiggle our toes in the grass, in the sand, being able to look up, see the trees, see the clouds rolling through blue skies, feeling raindrops on our skin, the breeze, Every single day, Mother Nature giving us a most beautiful gift because it's our home. This beautiful planet that we are so lucky that we get to live upon. So let's just breathe deeply into the body, deeply into a space of gratitude for the earth. And we'll seal our practice with a releasing breath here together. Inhale. And letting it go. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much for grounding and earthing into that practice with me today. I hope that you loved it. Um, if you're not already a Soul Sanctuary member, if you enjoyed this, then there is so much more of this. 600 videos to be precise and more coming every single month. You get a seven day free trial if you sign up via the link in the description box. So please, please do come and check it out. Like I said, we've got an app, but we also have our platform ready and waiting for you on desktop as well. If that's what you prefer, you can Chromecast, you can Apple TV, there's guest teachers. It's a really magical place to be with such a beautiful community. So yeah, I hope to have you over there. Thank you again so, so much. And I look forward to practicing with you again very soon. Bye-bye.